Good morning, folks. You have been watching a tornado in Milan. We'll have more on tornadoes elsewhere and come back to Euro weather. In just three days, ice jammed in a riverbed and flooded Galena, Alaska. Good aftershot of the affected area. No major quaking in the last day. Five-pointer at Prince Edward Island is slightly out of the norm, but a 4.8 in California that came through my apps as 5.2 makes the second above average shake in that state in a few days. That tropical storm hit hurricane status just before landfall. It's weakening now, but already bringing the year's first such disaster to the American coastlines. It struck just north of Guatemala, and using the population density function on RSOE, we can see that there are significant populations in the way. Coming back to Europe, we showed the tornado, but beyond that isolated fury, the deluge and wind are widespread. When I pull the satellite feed, you should recognize a powerful northern hemisphere low pressure convergence. The sparse cloud cover here doesn't do justice to the swath encroaching from the west even to the tip of the South Island of New Zealand now. Coming back to tornadoes, this time in the United States, had a couple drop from that convergence we showed yesterday and you can bet that will happen again tonight with the low pressure firmly lined up ripping warm air north into dry western air and cooler masses from the north. They'll work out their differences above tonight's severe watch zone. This is three straight days of gamma bursts. Yesterday from way south in the Hydrus constellation, you remember Capricornus fired one three days ago and up north in Ursa Minor yesterday. Flaring has not been able to get off the floor and, as you might imagine, the sunspots aren't looking any more impressive than the X-ray flux. Small, Magnetically benign, any significant flaring today would almost certainly be hider style from a filament release. Coronal hole wind stream we've taken for days is almost over, speed dropping precipitously and along with this, magnetometers are quiet with plasma penetration stalling. Let's chat about Dr. Simon Atkins of the Advanced Forecasting Corporation. Sorry I missed your call last night sir, I will call you later today. This man has forecasted a significant probability of an Atlantic Ocean tsunami. You might have heard about it. I tend to ignore most things like this, especially because someone is always chiming in when I set a quake watch, and when his began, so did mine, based on the incoming corona holes and the energetic flux in the form of a proton bombardment. But with Dr. Atkins, I couldn't ignore it completely. He's focused on the sun, and his weather forecasting with such means is very impressive. I contacted him in an attempt to help. Now I commented to you, many of you, that he might have eyes on the wrong ocean when around the time I called the Kamchatka area unstable, the earth was screaming out a warning. Now luckily it was one of the deepest eight pointers in the history of record. Kamchatka isn't exactly New York City in terms of population density, but could we have combined to better forecast that quake? Or what about the next one, potentially in a populated area? Dr. Atkins' watch remains in effect for six more days, and the umbral field is opening again now. We have days of coronal hole geoeffectiveness ahead of us, and we have a secondary factor, energetic flux in the form of an electron storm. These usually begin to decline before the quakes begin. We also have a sign from the Earth, and it's about the North Atlantic. Yesterday's reported quake in the Irish Sea was so very underappreciated in the comments section. Earth has seen four eight magnitude quakes since their last four pointer, so how rare was it? Now am I going to jump on board with the 81% likelihood of an Atlantic tsunami or large quake? No. But I promised someone that if my factors matched a sign underground that the North Atlantic was about to rumble, I'd say so. Promise kept. Helio viewer not updating so you are on your own for close ups. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.